Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Rahul. I'm Rahul Model, expert in Google Analytics for tracking, server side tracking, goal list conversion tracking, Facebook API conversion tracking, LinkedIn tracking, and many more. Uh, and if you are looking for any of this service, hire me. You will get my hot stuff and email address in the description. So let's get started. Into this tutorial, I'll show you how to track passage event for Facebook API conversion so to track purchase the event let's first know the data layer of purchase event so for that you have to purchase an item let's purchase then we'll get the data of patches event here in the debugging section now it has been purchased now let's see the data you can see purchase i have got the purchased event here and let's see the data so uh in case of purchase uh visitor uh come to your website and uh, can purchase a person can purchase lots of products simultaneously that's why you have to uh send you have to send all the patches the, all the product item name item id so i'll uh, send this a uh, parameter you know in the previous video i showed you so for this let's create trigger copy the patches even from here so that you, you copy it exactly so go to the event I go to the goal tag manager and paste it here and just save this the trigger has been created and now let's create a tag so there is a trigger already so I have I think I have already created trigger by this name So let's create a tag for this for purchase event. Get any tag FB purchase tag. This is a purchase tag. Now I can select the Facebook picture and here you select the FB constant variable and the standard event. This is the standard event. Select the purchase here now i'll add the five properties value the value is same for every event that's why i'm selecting let's check again you can see uh, this is the commerce and this is the value so value is under the commerce so select this value i've already created it next thing is next thing is currency now i'll add currency the currency is same every currency and the next is country name content name content id and content type 
for content name and content id a uh, person can uh, buy purchase multiple products simultaneously that's why we have to send multiple products if you want to uh, send this name uh, the the data line name will be e-commerce dot item dot item id or zero dot item id but uh, there will be lots of products and you don't know what are the products will be appear here because it depends on that person will purchase the product from your website so there is a code again we will use that code the javascript code so this code i will apply so this is for item id so uh, through this code first of all for passage i will create another i will create a variable first I'm taking all the items here and I will uh, from this item I will take only item ID or item name so don't use it here now uh, I have to copy that I have to copy this name and i will put it into this code so that this code uh, will call uh, item id sorry now now i'll create variable for item id this is uh, for patches this will be custom javascript and paste this code you can see here uh, this code will call item id from uh, patches product from uh, ecommerce.items it will call this item id so let's save this now i will add name here Click the custom variable and paste the custom variable but we have to change this item id so what we want we want this item name copy this and go here and change this and save this and type product here now everything has been configured and now select the patches trigger fb patches trigger now uh, every purchase tag has been configured now just save it and we'll check
whether it is working or not so go to the preview mode i'll buy uh, two products for better understand whether it is working properly or not Now I'll purchase these two products. You can see all the data are coming: view card, uh, view content, um, view content, then view card, and check checkout. Everything are receiving correctly. I configured in the previous video. If you don't watch, see my previous video. And if you don't want to do this yourself, then add me. I will do for you. I will do for you everything from browser side and as well as server side so just buy this place order now we'll see the patches here let's see what happens you can see we have got the patches and see this uh, the product is there are two products I have purchased daily moisturizer and deep cleanser and you can see here daily moisturizer deep cleanser and the and you can check the item ID from the data layer there are two item ID 300, uh, 305 and 317 you can see 370 305 USD This is because a uh, pixel and catalog not paired that's why it is showing so thank you so much for watching and if you want me to uh, set up everything from other side and server side then hire me i'll set up everything thank you so much